Welcome students, hope you will be fine. Today we will start the review of unit number 5, plants. We know very well about plants because plants is one of the five kingdom. All living things in the world is divided into five kingdom. Protist, prokaryotes, fungi, plants and animals. We already have learned about animals, classification of animals, special characteristics or features of uh, animals. Now we will discuss about plants. Like animal kingdom, the kingdom of plants also divided into two groups, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. First of all, we will discuss about non-flowering plants. What are special features or characteristics of about non-flowering plants? Non-flowering plants do not produce flower. Some of them do not produce seed, but some of them are uh, produce seeds. But their seeds are not enclosed into fruits or flowers. That's why they, uh, these type of non-flowering plants are also known as naked seed plants or gymnosperm. These plants do not produce flowers. Some of them are seedless plants like algae or algae, mosses and ferns. These are non-flowering plants and they do not produce seeds. Some of them are seed bearing plants means they produce seeds like conifer, like conifer but their seeds are not enclosed in fruits or flowers so they are called naked seed plants or also known as gymnosperm. Some examples of gymnosperms are uh, cypress, fir and pine. Pine basically is the example of conifer plants. Now we will discuss the angiosperm plants. Flowering plants are also known as angiosperms. Angiosperms or flowering plants produce flowers and also produce fruits. Their seeds are uh, enclosed into fruits or flowers. These are the special characteristics about flowering plants. This is a very large group of plants that produce flowers. The seeds of flowering plants are enclosed in fruits or flowers and they are called angiosperm. Next, uh, flowering plants are further divided into two main groups on the basis of their seed structure. To understand this, you have to study the structure of a seed. First, we will discuss about the structure of a seed. This diagram, this diagram shows the internal and external structure of a seed. Basically, a seed has three parts. First one, seed coat, cotyledon and embryo. What are the function of these three parts? Seed coat basically protects the internal structure of a seed and cotyledon provides nutrients or food to the embryo and embryo basically a baby plant that grows further into mature plant. The seed coat is the outer covering of the seed that protects its internal structure from injury and drying out during the shortage of water. The cotyledon is the plant's food supply. It provides the growing embryo and provides food for it. Cotyledons are leaf-like structures. Cotyledons are also called seed leaves. The last part is embryo or baby plant that grows into new plant when the conditions are right. It means when the proper amount of oxygen, water and sunlight are provided to the embryo, it grows into mature plant. The next topic is monocotyledon and dicotyledon. The flowering plants or angiosperms are further divided into two groups monocot or dicot in short according to their seed structure flowering plants are further divided into two major groups according to whether they have one or two cotyledons if the flowering plants seed have one cotyledon they are called monocotyledons or monocot plant if uh, the plants seeds have two cotyledon they are called dicotyledon or dicot for short here are some examples of monocot plants, for example rice, wheat, maize. These plant seeds have just one cotyledon and these are dicot plants, bean, rose, gram. Discuss the exercise question that is related to this topic. Question number 3, part 3, define the following terms. The uh, first term is seed coat. The seed coat is the outer covering of the seed that protects its internal structure means embryo from injury and drying out. The next uh, definition is cotyledon. 
The cotyledon is the plant's food supply. It surrounds the gro uh, growing embryo and provide provides food for it. Cotyledons are leaf-like structure. Cotyledons are leaf-like structure. Cotyledons are also called seed leaves. This is a definition of the cotyledon. Next uh, definition is embryo. Embryo is defined as a baby plant in the seed or inside the seed from which new plant grows. The next definition is angiosperm or gymnosperm. These plants produce, means angiosperms, produce flowers and their seeds are enclosed in fruits or flowers. So they are called angiosperm. Next, gymnosperms. Some plant seeds are not enclosed in fruits or flowers, so they are called net seed plants or gymnosperms. Okay, students, hope you will understand. Thank you for listening.